The bounding box or B box of a layer, also referred to as the region of definition or ROD in some software, defines an area containing pixels that'll be used to perform an operation. One of the first things a modifier does is it inspects the bounding box of the layer on which it's applied in order to know which source it should work on. The notion of a bounding box can appear both in modifier and generator parameters, among others. It shouldn't be confused with the notion of a format. A bounding box can evolve and be modified throughout processing. One of the most obvious modifiers that'll change the bounding box is a road dilate. In this example, the layer silhouette is defined by an alpha channel, and we want to expand these contours to make this shape fatter. New pixels will be added around the silhouette to make it grow, which will have the effect of increasing the bounding box of the layer as well. We have the possibility to expand, which is the default, and increase the size of the bounding box according to the newly created pixels. You can also crop to format, which defines the bounding box of the layer based on the format that could expand or crop it. Or you can use same as input, which will keep the bounding box similar to what it was before the modifier. Other modifiers have the same parameter, like blur for example. Let's take a look at what happens to the circle when we blur it. As you can see, the bounding box that used to touch the edges of this circle gradually moves away as the blur evolves. This concept is important to understand because you'll find it in many places in the software, not only in modifiers. For example, when you check the Crop Transparent Borders option in the reader, you potentially reduce the size of the bounding box to only keep relevant pixels.